Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Let's have a look. So, Chulain, Teller of Tales. Two for Vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefields. And for three mana, return a creature control to its owner's hand. So pretty powerful abilities. Our only one drop is Spectral Sailor at two mana. Got the Fairy Vandal, which also plays quite well with uh, Chulain. Incubation Druid for ramp. Crawl Harpooner to take out small flyers. More mana creatures with a Leafkin Druid, Paradise Druid. Wayfinder can pick it back up with Chulain to find whatever we are looking for. Biomancer Familiar can reduce the cost of Chulain's activated ability, among other things. Ooh, Pixie, this is a pretty exciting card. 2 mana, 2-2 two, two flyer. That's also a mana creature, so it's just a fine beatdown creature by itself, but it also functions as a mana dork. So this is a pretty exciting new card that might see some constructed play. Run away together, a weird bound spell. Grow Spiral for more ramp. Tomb of Legends to draw some cards. We've got Steel Bane Hydra, X double green, X plus one plus one counters. And we can destroy an artifact or enchantment by removing a counter for three mana, so decent mana sink. Then uh, at three mana we've got Forbidding Spirits, District Guide, a new card here in Rose Thorn Acolyte, three mana, two, three. The Adventure is basically just to fix our mana, so this one's pretty strange. So we can filter a green mana into any one color. We've got uh, Engineer. Risen Reef, do we have any elementals? Probably not that many. Prison Realm as removal, then Incubation Incongruity, not the best, but I guess it can find some creatures. I guess, yeah, we do have the Leaf Kindred to go with the Risen Reef at least. Shark to Crab, Frilled Mystic, great combo with Chulain, of course. Root for more ramp, Firemind's Vessel for more ramp, so this deck's got a ton of ramp. Then Fairy Formation, 5 mana, 5 for Flyer and four mana to make a 1-1 one, one and draw a card. So this is kind of Spectral Sailor on steroids. Keeper of Fables here as well. Time Wipe, bit of a nombo with our mana creatures, but nice to have a sweeper. And then good Flower Flourish to grab land or to kill the opponents. Beanstalk Giant, another adventure card here. So again, for those that haven't uh, been keeping up with the new cards, the way this works is it's essentially just a 7 mana creature we can cast from our hands. In this case, it's Beanstalk Giant's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands we control. But if we want to, we can also cast the Sorcery Adventure from our hand first. In this case, it's called Fertile Footsteps. And that lets us search our library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, and then shuffle our library. If the Fertile Footsteps cast from our hand resolves successfully, it's put into exile. And then from the exile zone we can cast a beanstalk giant as a creature and still get the creature half as well. If we cast a creature first then we can no longer use the adventure. So that's pretty nifty. Kind of an interesting take on some of the aftermath split card kicker type cards. Yeah, the land also enters the battlefield untapped which is worth pointing out. So it essentially only costs two mana, that's a good way to put it. Then what else? Got the thorn mammoth here as well, got it in the jund deck. Meteor Golem, pretty nice one. And raise four runners to end the game. Parhelion 2, a fan favorite. And that's about it. And taking a look at our mana base. What uh, dual land did we get this time? The only shock land is Hallowed Fountain. Then a bunch of tap lands. Let's take a look at the art of the basic lands. Some pretty good ones here too. Ooh, this is a pretty basic island. A nice little uh, well in the middle of nowhere. Some pretty cool art. Oh wow, if you're a fan of landscapes. Oh yeah, it's gotta be John Avon. Like, I didn't even look at the artist, but you recognize John Avon art. 
It's pretty similar to kind of the unhinged islands. It's got the same feel to it. All right, let's take this deck for a spin. All right, on the play in a mirror match. Reasonable hand, we've got the Leafkin plus Reef, so I don't even know if I want to play the Leafkin on turn two. Yeah, I mean, I could just go turn two Leafkin, turn three Risen Reef, turn four Chulane. Is that better than waiting and getting more value from Reef? Now let's just play my mana creature on turn two here. Bonus got their own Leafkin. Wish we had drawn the, the Paradise Root sooner. Roots. So both ramping nicely. Next turn it's time for uh, Chulain. Ooh, can ramp up to a Mammoth pretty soon here. Start drawing some cards. So I want a flower for a land and then play familiar. So we get to ramp. Well, we've got all the mana in the world here. Hopefully we don't get time wiped. And then I can still activate this thanks to the familiar, so we're uh, well and truly going off. Yeah, pretty good turn. All right, Sailor at least means they probably don't have a time wipe coming up here. Yeah, end of turn I can bounce my Risen Reef back to hand. And then maybe Thorn Mammoth can take out Chulain. Harpooner, sure. Take one. All right, so Probably want to play our Thorny Boy. All their opponents could be holding up Frill Mystic, which would be unfortunate if that gets countered, so I'll play the Risen Reef first. Yep. Kill this one. I'm gonna get to decimate the opponent's board here. Play Harpooner. Mammoth fights Frilled Mystic. And Harpooner kills the Spectral Sailor. Maybe I should have killed the Druid instead to deny them more mana. But I don't want the Frill Mystic to stick around with Chulain. Alright, so pretty good turn once again. 
I guess this has Vigilance, so that can attack. And do I want to trade here? Not really. And then I can bounce with Tulane if I feel like it. Meteor Golem. Well, it's not gonna work out for them. Remember the discount from Familiar here. Alright, opponent got absolutely wrecked. No two ways about it. And we've got some savvy hunters added to our collection. This hand's not great. We're missing ramp cards. Guide can find the land but doesn't actually ramp. Not a fan of Incubation to begin with. Parhelion pretty far from casting it. So I think I'll uh, take my free Mulligan here. Alright, this is a bit better. I've got a turn 3 Reef, turn 4 Root. Take it from there. Not the most explosive hand, but definitely keepable. And we're up against the Corvold deck. Make sure to play the green source, since we've got a ton of 2 mana ramp creatures in the deck we could draw. In green. Alright, time wipe is going to be a useful tool. Uh oh, Cranko, turn 3. Well, I guess we'll need the time wipe to clean up that mess. So let's just uh, reef it up. Seems a bit early for the time wipe, but it might be necessary. I could play Tulane, but if we're gonna time wipe, that's kind of wasted in a way. So I could just root and then time wipe next turn after I develop my mana some more. It's not like we're taking a ton of damage here, and we might catch another creature. I think that's gonna be my play. So let's get our last gates and another forests. I could chum block to save 3 life, but uh, getting the time wipe value is pretty good too, since I think we're pretty much locked into casting time wipe next turn. So at that point I might as well get the Risen Reef value. Opponent does not overextend, which is uh, smart from them. Let's uh, time wipe. And pick up our Reef again. They're gonna death sprout in response. It's fine. So now I guess I can just play an acolyte. Next turn play Chulane, start drawing some cards. It's nice to play Chulane and follow it up with a creature right away. Bottom does get to play their commander here if they want to. They're gonna play the Crater Maker first and then Corvold. Our deck doesn't have many answers for a resolved Corvold, so this could still be an uphill battle. So yeah, I'll just go Vandal into Leafkin. Ooh, Crawl Harpooner. That's uh, an exciting card, potentially. Can't quite kill Corvolt right now. So I think we'll do this. And I even get to play Spectral Sailor. I 
think we gotta put this in the command zone. But if I were to put it in the graveyards, it's maybe easier to kill Korvold. Champion picks up a counter. Korvold eats some pie. So if I want to kill Korvold, I would have to double chump. These both die. And then this can next turn kill Korvold. It's not great, but maybe it's the way to go here. So this costs me 7 mana. I'm gonna go full control here for a second. So I can uh, make 2 green mana with a leafkin while we have 4 creatures in play. Take action. Kill Corvolds. And then play some more creatures. I could have played Formation, maybe that was better. But I kind of want to keep this in case I have a sweeper effect here, so I have a way to recover and do something meaningful. Just play the Signets. Because the opponent does play Find Finality. So I don't want to commit everything to the board here. It's just going to be a Pollen Bright Druid. Can't afford to take four. And if we get to loop Meteor Golem with uh, Chulain, that's going to be quite powerful. They might have wanted to play the dragon first there to pump the champion. Prison Realm's good too. Alright, so we've got some cool things going on. I guess I like Meteor Golem kill the Woodland Champion and then be able to pick it back up. So I think I'm just gonna say go for now, hang on to the Prison Realm. Maybe I should bounce the Golem right away. Maybe I should. I guess I can adapt first and then bounce still. And I'll hang on to the Prison Realm. So we're playing it a little bit safe here, not committing everything to the board. And picking up the Meteor Golem to have another answer lined up for a Core Vault. And then the Prison Realm's another answer as well. Can't afford to take three. But next turn I could just play Golem and pick it back up again. Start destroying permanent after permanent. So it's kind of on the opponent to disrupt that. Yeah, I suppose we could have attacked with Incubation Druid first too. Opponent does play Corvold, sacking a treasure token. Pretty thematic. So that's going down. So I want to attack first with Chulain and then uh, do some more stuff. I could play it now. Even if they do find finality me, the druid survives. Opponent's not going to have much left. I still have a pretty stocked hand, so I don't really mind Committing the meter golem here, killing the dragon. And then I can spiral end of turn. Alright, we got there. So the Chulain loop is too strong. 
Yeah, it's pretty good value if we can keep bouncing a meter golem over and over again. And we've got inspiring veterans. Maybe to build a Mardu knight deck when uh, Eldrain releases. Alright, well, definitely liked the uh, Wild Bounty deck quite a bit. Probably my favorite of the three decks we've played so far. But now it's time to try out Fairy Schemes up next. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.